Well, hello guys and gals and welcome back to a little DTG fishing or dovetail games fishing. I am Mr. Moose and uh, of course we're in early access phase four of DTG fishing and uh, thought we'd go ahead and just do a little more fishing for you guys and uh, give you a little bit more experience with this. Uh, I have practiced a little bit with this game and have gotten a little bit better with it. I figured out some of the... Uh, little tricks to it to um, to land the big ones and so we're gonna give that a shot today uh, we're back on the training lake which is uh, of course the really the only lake that we have right now I've just changed to a different position on the lake uh, this particular area seems to have a lot of silt in it so we are gonna change our rig we go into our tackle box and we can change our uh, our fishing rig and I'm going to go for something with a little more uh, silt in it and so that's where we're gonna go with that rig it's more um, uh, more favorable for a silt environment uh, one thing I figured out was I had my drag a little bit too low I was thinking setting it around here in 40 40 percent for the initial strike though uh, if I found if I crank it up to about 60 uh, right in this area I seem to have more control over the fish in the initial strike and they don't run as far from me um, so that's what we're going to work with today. So uh, let's see how we do. And we'll just cast out here. And I tried to do a little bit of a short cast there and I failed miserably on that. I mean that was short but that was way too short. Uh, the problem is I haven't, I've gotten better at distance casting. The problem is I've gotten good at really way too distance of casting. As I throw a miserable cast right there for you guys. And uh, it takes a little bit getting back into the rhythm of it. Um, I'll mess with it a little bit and here in just a minute. And we'll, you'll see, we'll get one that'll go clear across the lake in a minute and hang up in a tree somewhere. Um, yeah. So we're going to aim down here, down the center, and just see. There, that's a better cast. That'll get us out there. As you can see, we're in the silt. And uh, so we'll just work it through, see if we get a bite. See if we can't land us a good size carp. And again, just to refresh you guys uh, on where we're at with this, it is early access. And pretty much the only fish in here are carp. Uh, there's just different kinds. And uh, I have to be honest with you, I don't know much about carp. So, yeah. If we were talking bass, smallmouth, largemouth, I'd be all over that. So we'll just uh, reel in here a little bit, let it sit. There we go. Fish on. Pretty good sized fish. It's putting up a little bit of a fight. As you can see... I'm able to hold it a little bit better and I reel down on it and then uh, if I have to let off on the drag a little bit I will uh, but for the most part I'm just gonna try to just kind of hold it and let it tire itself out keep it out of the weeds if I can and uh, and let it run and when I get a chance I'll just reel a little bit down on it and then pull back ever so slightly and just Oh, now he's trying to run on me. So I just kind of reel in on him. Got him turned, so I'm just going to use that opportunity to just kind of muscle in this direction. Watching that I don't put too much tension on the line. If I have to, I can always dip my rod down a little bit or back off on the tension. The biggest thing is just hold him until he gives you the opportunity to reel in on him in a minute he'll just give up and turn this direction hopefully and I can uh, I can reel in a little bit on him I'm just holding steady letting him tire himself out but keeping the the drag in the right spot there we go here, he's starting to run across the thing. I 
Let's just give it time. And finesse him over. We got a little hairy there. Good sized fish we're fighting here, folks. Let's see if we can't get a little bit on him. At some point, he's got to tire out. This is one of those where I don't want to make a mistake because I've, I've already got too much time invested in on it. from those weeds. Don't want him to get in there. Uh, come to me, fishy fishy. Come on. You gotta be getting tired. I know I am. I don't think we've made any progress yet. Come on, fish. Home to me. Acts like he's getting a little tired. See a little swirl there. Oh, there he is. Come to me, fishy fishy. That part right there always startles me. That's a pretty good fish there. 17 pound mirror carp. How y'all like them apples? Nice. All right. Well, we'll release him and uh, we'll give it a shot again. See what else we can find in here. So again, it's just a matter of finesse, keeping the drag pretty tight. And uh, if if you do get in this situation where it looks like you're going to snap the line, you just back off a little bit more and uh, you can go ahead and get them in. So that was, uh, you know, like I said, that was where I was having issues before. Uh, was not really doing a good job at all. That was a miserable cast. That's the thing. I haven't figured out the whole casting thing to get the distance right because I'm trying to finesse it to get it across the water but there we go that worked out better all right so let's pull this up a little bit and we'll go ahead and see what we come up with this time but that's uh that's been my my weakest point is the casting part of it and just figuring out how far to take the rod back and throw and release and when to release. And some day, sometimes you throw 40 yards and you're in the grass on the other side of the lake. Uh, you know, so it takes a little bit of takes a little bit of practice to figure out where you're at. And honestly, I haven't given it enough uh, play t to really get good at it. I played for maybe 30 minutes the other day um, figuring out the whole drag issue. Uh, I haven't given it nearly as much time. But I'd like to see more of the game open up. You know? Um, I'd like to see another lake. See how to unlock your tackle box and things of that nature. Um, hopefully things like that are coming soon. 
Or I'm missing something somewhere that I can't open a tackle box up yet. Nothing that time. Oh, oh, oh. man, I'm doing great. <laughs> Come on. A little slow responded. Come on. Come on. What's going on? I wonder because I'm uploading a video right now if that's an issue. I am trying to upload a video uh, to YouTube at this time, so uh, I didn't really know that. I guess it does use a little bit of the internet um, because it does pull in leaderboards from other players, so I guess maybe you have to have an internet connection with it, and maybe that could be the issue uh, because I do have the world's worst internet through the folks at CenturyLink. And uh, that's about to be resolved. Since they can't seem to keep my internet stable, I think I'll go somewhere else. Which I used to be a big fan of them. And uh, I used to tout how good their, their service was. But uh, I've moved recently and uh, my new residence uh, the connections absolutely horrific and um, I joke about whether I'm going to be able to do something whether or not the hamster gets fed or not um, and that's because it's just uh, you know so pathetic uh, it's almost like it is run off of a hamster wheel so yeah I miss my old pre-existing connection where I used to live. Um, it was it was much better, and it was the same company then too. Oh, looky there, fish on. Nice. This isn't a big fish. So one thing I found earlier was doing like just short little strokes like this, seem to be able to you know, work the fish towards you a little bit, uh, rather than to try to take those big sweeping motions, uh, just small little deliberate actions like this, uh, fluid little actions, seem to work better than trying to come all the way back here. I have to tell you, that little last little snap where it comes in scares me every time I think I lost the fish. All right, so a little 13-pound common carp. That wasn't bad. Getting some good-sized fish in here. We're not getting those little quarter-pound guppies. Uh, and we've got two fish on, which is better than the our last experience. I think what I got one fish in the time that we fished. And I lost another one. So I'm getting better. I'm down two in this short little video so far. I mean, we've been what? 15 minutes into this, and I already had two fish. Man, I'm on a hot streak. I haven't had one run a half a mile. As I say that, I need to crank up my uh, my drag. Because it does reset every time you, after you catch a fish, and you go to recast, it does reset. So you have to remember to reset your drag. You should have to check your bait every time, too, you know? Uh, you know, you check your bait. Make sure you still have bait. Re-bait your hook. Maybe every couple of casts. You ought to have to check the condition of your bait. Unless you're fishing with, you know, artificial lures or something like that that you don't have to worry about. Um, but, you know, if I throw into the weeds up there... Like I just did, basically. Uh, I'd have to worry about um, snagging and losing my my lure. And don't see that. Because I could throw over in that tree and uh, ooh, fish on. 
Oh, this is going to be an epic battle, unless he's like a guppy. Which he does seem kind of small. Reeling this guy in is going to take some time. So, yeah. I mean, um... Like, I could... Like, like when this fish is over... If we land him or don't land him or whatever... Uh... I could take and throw into that tree over there and not lose my rig. He ought to have to. You know, technically, there ought to be a, a monetary system in this to where you actually have to buy your your tackle, you know? Uh, you get points for, you know, so many fish or whatever. Every fish gives you a point or two and... Uh, to encourage you to continue to fish. Um, and then the more fish you get, the better gear you can get. Or maybe it's XP points. You know, for every fish you catch, you get so many XP. And if it's a so many pounds of fish that you land, you get a little more XP. But that would be kind of cool. Um, and then that way you can get better gear with the XP that you get. Maybe that's what they're working on. Uh, maybe that's the reason tackle box is locked. And I don't have any tackle. Making a little headway with this guy. Boy, he keeps wanting to go over in those weeds. So we're going to try the little saw method here of... Pull a little, reel a little. Pull a little bit, and reel a little bit. See if we can work him in here. All the time, making sure we don't get too much red on our graph. Oh, uh, come on. Slowly but surely, we're working him in here. He's still got quite a bit of life in him. He, she, it. Gotta be careful what you say these days. Don't want to accuse a gender of being the wrong one. So yeah, I'll we'll have to go with it has a little bit. Well, that's not proper. You shouldn't refer to it as an it. That's kind of impersonal. Oh, come on now, fishy. Um, to the moosey. Gotta be getting tired now. Seems like it's coming on in. We have broken its wheel. Well, let's try one more time to get out there. Oh. What's it look like? We should see the silhouette here any moment now. Oh. If I saw that right, that's a pretty good sized fish. And 17 pound common carp. We're doing good. That's two big fish today. Man, I'm on fire. I'll be on the circuit soon. Competing for the big money. So here's what I'm talking about. Let's shame at that tree over there. And if I throw clear across the lake, which I can't do that. Let's try it again. See, look, I have a decent cast. I'm going to get rid of it to try and get a worse cast. Nope, that didn't do it either. 
You think I could hit that tree? Oh, there we go. We're in the tree. Alright, so see, we went through the tree. That should not be able to reel back in. And yet, here it comes. Down the hill. Reeling in. 38. Right into the water. See, that shouldn't happen. Should be able to fish that way. They gotta fix that. I mean, if I throw through a tree, I should be in the tree. I should pay the penalty. I ought to have to reel back in, go into my tackle box, get myself a new little rig, and get myself some new bait, and go from there. Instead, I can probably reel this across here nice and slow and actually catch a fish, even though I threw my bait 10 yards onto the land. 10 yards on land, I get away with. But through a tree? Uh-uh. You ain't getting that bait back. And if you do, you're jerking and doing the swishing up and down motion. And then pulling it as tight as you can. Eventually, you're pulling the line straight at you to snap it and leave part of it in the tree. And if you do get it out of the tree, usually you've whacked your bait off of it and... You know, you're, you're reeling it back in. And you're going to the tackle box. I really want to catch a fish on this line, just to prove a point. Come on. Home to me, fish. Come on, catch a fishy right here. Oh well, I did get one on that cast. At least that's the, you know, that's the one th thing I like about this. Every cast is not a confirmed catch. Um, you know, too many of the fishing games that you get out there, every time you throw out there, you catch a fish. And uh, it's not that way with this. You, you got to give it several attempts be a little bit patient and uh you know let your bait sit there for a minute which i'm not real good at uh, i just want to just kind of reel it in every time but again that also goes to my not really knowing how to carp fish um you know, if I was bass fishing, I might be using some minnows. I might be using a, a bull minnow or a shad. Um, you know, fishing off of a bobber. Um, or I might be using artificial bait, using a, a Carolina rig, working a working a, a, uh, a worm. Or, or I might even be fishing with a spinner bait or something like that, depending on the conditions. Uh, you know, that I was fishing in, you know, so if I was fishing in, uh, tree stumps, I might be fishing a worm and it, and I'm hooked, you know, snagless, so I don't catch on something, but if I'm fishing, uh, you know, in a gravel bed like this area, uh, I'd fish maybe with a Rapala or something like that, so, uh, you know, I know my bass fishing, don't really know anything about uh, carp fishing. I mean, you know, like I said in my previous video, my only experience carp fishing was hooking dough balls onto a hook and throwing them in the water and just let them sit there and the carp grabbing them and biting down on them. And little bitty mouse, big bodies. That's the biggest thing I remember about carp fishing. Um, big old fish, little bitty mouths. But I was talking to the Landy Kid, and he was saying that uh, carp fishing is very, very big in in Britain and uh, over in the UK. And uh, they actually competitive carp fishing. And, uh, oops. Yeah, not a good cast that time. Got a hold of that one, though. Oh, 
yeah. Anyways, pretty cool game early access wise. I need to get on the forums and read a little bit more so uh, in our next video we can talk about uh, what's new, what I've actually read. I, I haven't really seen anything uh, since our last video, but I did want to do some actual fishing and catch a few fish now that I've gotten better at fighting them and actually catching them and can keep them from running clear across the map on me. And we'll find out what's going on with uh, uh, with Dovetail's plans for this. And to see uh, if there's Phase 5 or uh, where this game is actually headed. But still, if you just want to just want a fishing game to uh, to play and fish and just have a little bit of fun, I would grab it. You know, uh, like I said, I played 30, 40 minutes the other night, maybe an hour. I I don't know. I caught six, eight fish uh, in that time and uh, worked on my worked on my strategies for it. Tried a few different. Things like the shallow saw motion here of just finessing the fish in and or just trying to rather than trying to do the big huge arch in little nine pounder but yeah there is a leaderboard if you actually um, see how you get through this I don't know what you got to hit to go through the leaderboard but it says friends down here. I was using the arrow keys. That didn't seem to do it. Uh, is it? Well, maybe it was the arrow key. I hit something and made it change. Hmm. I don't know what I hit to make it change. Now I can't get it back. So I need to look at controls to uh, to find the rest of the controls. I need to put him back in the water before he dies. And we'll give it one more cast, I guess. See what we come up with. See if I can do a decent cast here. Alright. Yeah, a little long. In the weeds. You're supposed to be able to, like say, if you watch the instructional video on the beginning of this, uh, or on our previous video on how to do this you're supposed to be able to hit that um, hit your right mouse button and make it kind of uh, break a little bit it doesn't I haven't seemed to have a whole lot of luck with that and I'm still learning I don't even know the controls though to look at the leaderboard so I need to like I said I need to, lean, to do a little more reading and maybe in our next one, we'll play some of the games that they've got uh, listed in the menu. I, I kind of steer away from those because, well, I'm not good at them. Um, and, and I play the game to fish. I, I don't play to try to get the bait in the, ho in the hoop. But, uh, you know, just to see what kind of games are out there. I think they've got, like, some timed casting things and, you know, throw through the gate, throw through this gate, throw through that, you know. Uh get it in the hoop and all that so um, uh, there's gonna be another little guppy fish here so uh, maybe in our next video we'll we'll take a look at that because I have honestly I haven't even looked at it to know what's in there I just know there's little challenges that you can do and um, we'll take a look at that structure of it um, and see what's up my biggest thing is just getting used to the gameplay of this and and learning what it takes to land those big fish Boom, there we go again 11 pound mirror carp all right well cool so we caught a few fish today did pretty good uh let's see that's uh not a bad day so far fishing and that'll about wrap it up for this video we've uh, spent about 30 minutes on it so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Another look at it, and like I said, we'll do uh, we'll do some of the challenges in the next video. But uh, just wanted to revisit this game for you guys and see a little more fishing action uh, with it. It is a uh, Dovetail Games fishing. 
I think it's around like twelve, thirteen dollars if you wanted to pick that up on Steam. Um, and for me, it's worth it because you're, you know, you've got something to do. I've been looking for a little fishing game, so um, yeah, if you want something to play around and mess around with, uh, you can have yourself a good time doing it. Uh, even though there's not a whole lot, there's like, I think there's eight or ten fishing stations on this lake itself, and so you can always find a place. Uh, to go fish and and hang out and just uh, and do your thing and uh, as this, as I said some changes should be coming uh, some updates coming on it I would think in the near future um, but I'll let you know about that uh, I'll actually dig into it a little bit more for our next video all right until then y'all stay safe have yourself a great day and as always come on back tomorrow another video will be posted for you until then I'm Mr Moose have a wonderful time bye bye.